through an overhead press. It's going to focus on the shoulders and the system muscle being the triceps around the back of the arms. You can do this from a standing position, seated position, you can use different external loads. I'm going to use dumbbells, but if you've not got dumbbells and you've got a kettlebell, we can do single arm with kettlebells and work and build up from there. Same way, thing we can also use is like a barbell if that's something you have access to either in your gym or at home. So, using a set of dumbbells here, I'm going to talk you through the technique of the exercise. So, sitting myself down, feet flat on the floor, think about pushing my feet away, so I'm kind of burying my lower back into the pad. Roll the shoulders back and down bringing the dumbbells to this position. So from here, my elbows are just a touch below the shoulders, yeah? From here, pressing up, bringing the dumbbells just above the shoulders, then breathe in and back down. Slowly pressing it back up, grip onto the dumbbells, slowly down, keeping the core pulled in tight towards the bench, focus on driving up through the shoulders. Nice and controlled through here. And we notice as I press up, so let me just demonstrate there. So as we press up with the dumbbell here, if we had a straight line like through the shoulder, pull mine to the ceiling to the floor, the dumbbell wants to always be on the outside of this imaginary line at the top. So we're not bringing the dumbbell over the head. So we're in control here, just to here. So the elbow just dips below the shoulder joint, and then we're pressing through. We're just working in that kind of just under. 90 degrees, keeping all the tension through the shoulders, yeah? If you really struggle to press overhead and you have that temptation to press forward, A, we want to work for kind of mobility in the shoulders, see if that will fix it. If not, then we can always look at <coughs> leaning back a little bit more. So with your dumbbells, so it's just a little bit more comfortable on the shoulder, so it's just one click back, and you're still predominantly working through the shoulder, but you cause it nice and tight and you're a bit more protected and a little bit more safer when you are training over time. Super work. Let's do it.